Boat Hole Design, created by Stephen Bradshaw. The following opinions expressed in this video are solely those of the creator and the creator's mentors. The design of a vessel will greatly affect how it performs. There are four main style holes that manufacturers use when building a boat. There are flat bottoms, which are what they sound like, a vessel with a flat bottom that usually has lifting strikes that run the length of the boat. Next, there are monoholes. Monoholes are V-hole shaped vessels that utilize one hole that has a dead rise to some degree. Then there are catamarans. Catamarans are vessels with a twin sponson design that has a tunnel running the length of the boat. The last style of boats are triholes. Triholes are similar to catamarans, but instead of having two sponsons, triholes have three, with two tunnels running the length of the boat between each sponson. This educational video will highlight where each vessel excels. The categories that we will be analyzing are speed, fuel efficiency, draft, handling, and ride. First, we will look at speed. The speed of a boat is greatly dependent on prop, weight, and hold design. Flat bottoms tend to have the worst speed of the four kinds of boats. This is because there is no bow entry that can help split the water to the side. The boat is trying to move on top of the water instead. Monoholes are faster than flat bottoms, but are not as fast as catamarans and triholes. This is because a monohole has a bow entry that can move the water to the side when the boat is moving. This bow entry can range from a few degrees to up to almost 50 degrees of dead rise. Catamarans and triholes are the fastest vessels of the four kinds. This is because the extremely sharp entry of each sponson is able to cut through the water easier, resulting in a faster speed. The fuel efficiency of a boat is determined by the amount of friction and drag that is between the boat and the water. The most fuel efficient boat is one that has very little drag between the boat and the water. Flat bottoms have a good fuel efficiency when compared to monoholes. This is due to how a flat bottom rides on the surface of the water and a monohole tries to slice through the water. The flat bottom does not have a lot of surface area in the water while at speed so there is also less drag. Due to the monohole being so wide at the bottom and having so much surface area, there is a lot of drag which greatly reduces the fuel efficiency. It is the worst of the four kinds of boats. Catamarans and triholes have the best fuel efficiency of the four holes. This is from the razor blade type entry on each sponson which reduces drag and friction. Also, the tunnel traps and compresses air which gives the boat more lift, further reducing the drag between the vessel and the water. In regards to ride, the heavier the boat, the better the ride. Catamarans and triholes truly excel in their ride quality. This is because each sponson has a much cleaner and sharper entry compared to the other boats which allow a vessel to cut through a wave and reduce pounding when in rough seas. Monoholes still have a good ride, but because they are much wider at the bottom, the boat will decelerate much faster in rough conditions which can create a hard landing for the operator and their passengers. Flat bottoms do not ride that well. This is because they are almost perfectly flat so it smacks the water as opposed to cutting through it. The draft of a boat is how much water the vessel will displace. Flat bottoms have the shallowest draft of four different hull designs. This is from having such a large flat surface area to displace the water. Also, there is nothing hanging down from the boat that can hit something on the sea floor. Catamarans are the second shallowest hull design, then triholes, then monoholes. Monoholes draft the most because all the force from the boat is focused on the keel, which drops it farther into the water to keep the boat stable. Catamarans are shallow drafting holes because each sponson can counteract the downward force from the other, keeping the boat stable and shallow. This same concept is why triholes also have a shallow draft. In regards to handling, flat bottoms are the worst. They are the worst because they have very minimal change in contour of the hole. This change in contour is what allows the vessel to bite into the water when in a sharp turn and prevents the boat from spinning out. Flat bottoms tend to slide in turns, while the other three holes grab water and are able to bank into the turn. With so many different, different style boats in the market, and with so many different materials that they're made out of, the costs can vary extremely. Boats range from a couple hundred dollars for a used flat bottom to multi-millions for sport fishing boats and yachts. Now, for the cheapest boat is a flat bottom. This is because they normally aren't very big. They range 8 to about 30 feet long. They're primarily made of aluminum, which is cheap to build, and it is easy to work with. It doesn't require a lot of work like fiberglass. The next most expensive boat is the monohull. Now, their monoholes are placed where they are because there's so many different manufacturers out there that build them, and they're all made out of fiberglass that it's so competitive that people are trying to knock their prices down. 
Now, catamarans and triholes are the most expensive of the different boat hull designs. This is because there's not a lot of manufacturers out there, and the manufacturers that do build them spend a lot of time and money to get them perfectly right because this twin sponson design is hard to perfect. Now each style hole is made to perform in a specific area. With flat bottom boats being so shallow yet they ride poorly, these holes are best in small, shallow bay systems where there is not a big chop, such as West Galveston Bay. Also with flat bottoms primarily being made of aluminum, they are great for bays that have a hard shell where a hard shell bottom is prevalent. This is because the aluminum is able to take a beating and is easy to fix. For mono holes, they perform great in a wide variety of environments. They are common offshore boats because they can be found up to hundreds of feet long and with their sharp entry they ride good in rough water and can take on the big bay systems. Now catamarans and triholes are great boats for those who want to fish shallow but need to cross rough water. Catamarans are also common offshore boats because they have an incredible ride and great fuel efficiency. Now we're going to talk about why I chose on to take this research project of boat hole design and its application. Now this wasn't my first idea. My first idea was to build a custom made 20 feet long by 72 inches wide bay boat that'd be a flat bottom made out of aluminum. I had all my mentors lined up. I was going to build it with Boatwright Marine who were going to help me out with the welding and the jig process and I was super pumped to get started. But then I had bad news strike. I had torn my labrum and my rotator cuff in my left shoulder and had to find a new project. Then one day I was walking through the boat show and I saw all the different boats. And I heard all these different, overheard all these conversations about how there's so many and people don't know what's right for them. And that's when it hit me. I need, I should do a research paper on boat hole design and its application that would truly highlight where each style hole prevails. And in reality, boats are kind of like cars. There's so many different types and there's one that fits each person the best. It's just about going out there and finding the right one. That concludes this research project about boat hole design and its application. I hope you learned something good and something new today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to talk to me anytime. Thanks.